through her hard work, her passion, her dedication, she's been able to reach the pinnacle of her career. Uh, a true role model, someone who people look up to, especially young women. We have many women in the state of Florida, but I think Helen stands out. She's, she's accomplished professionally, and she has a broad range of accomplishments. And I'm sure that for many of us, it's, it's hard to conceive being able to balance so many different things. So for her to be able to have done that effectively and make such an important contribution to our community and to our state is just truly amazing. Helen Aguirre Ferre was born and raised in Miami to Nicaraguan parents. I'm so deeply grateful for my parents who were really my first role models and who taught me the importance of community. Helen is like a sister to me and her parents have been like my second parents. We inherited our friendship. Our, our parents were close friends growing up together in, in Miami Shores in the 1960s. You know, her, her family uh, were pioneers in this community. They started the first Spanish language newspaper. For years, she has been the face of public affairs programming at WPBT2, a PBS affiliate in South Florida, where she hosted the weekly series, Issues. There, she launched Issues Reports, an investigative arm of journalism. Her work as a bilingual correspondent in multiple platforms has been recognized countless times in the community. One of the things that I'm very proud of through my years in communications is that I've been one of the voices who has helped bring the community together, as one can only do, really, in communications. In the print media, Helen has been a respected weekly columnist for the Miami Herald and El Nuevo Herald and held leadership positions at Diario Las Americas. Additionally, Helen worked as a national host for Univision America Radio and worked as a political analyst for Univision during numerous national conventions and elections. Aside from her career in journalism and spending time with her family, Helen has changed many lives through her work with charitable organizations. She co-founded Operation Saving Lives, a humanitarian task force responsible for sending significant contributions of medicine, food and clothing to the victims of Hurricane Mitch in Central America. Through her actions, Helen is not only an example to women in Florida, but she's made a tangible impact to so many uh, people's lives. She's such a caring leader who has uh, participated and supported some, some of the best causes in this community. It is in giving that you receive, and I feel it's such a gift to be able to give back to the community. She is also the first woman to chair the Board of Trustees of Miami-Dade College, the largest institution of higher education in the nation, which awards more degrees to minorities than any other college or university in America. I couldn't say enough good things about Helen Aguirre Ferre and what she has meant for Miami-Dade College. Helen has been a tremendous force at Miami-Dade College for several years, as someone who puts students always first on every decision that is made at the board. I think Helen is so deserving of the Florida Women's Hall of Fame because of the power that she provides to people. I nominated uh, Helen aguirre Ferre because she's uh, a Florida treasure and uh, born and raised in Florida a formidable trajectory of leadership, someone who's well-respected uh, and admired throughout uh, South Florida. Helen is um, one of those few people uh, that everybody uh, loves and everybody respects. And what more can you say?